Let's take a look at a crazy sacrifice fly, where two runs score. The outfielder catches the ball and fires towards home, but his throw is wide. The catcher tries to catch it, but it ticks off his glove towards the dugout. Now watch carefully. The catcher saves the ball from going into the dugout, but the catcher steps into the dugout with both feet. So what's the call? Is it a nice play by the catcher and the ball remains in play? Is the catcher in dead ball territory and the runners are awarded one base from the time of throw? Or C, is the catcher in dead ball territory and the runners awarded two bases from the time of throw? Let's go to the umpire's manual to get the answer. When the fielder going into an out of play area, a fielder is considered to be in the dugout and thereby unable to make a valid catch when the fielder has one or both feet on the surface inside the dugout. For example, on the steps or on the floor of the dugout. So we know this, the catcher has the ball and is out of play, but how do you place the runners? Well, on balls that are deflected out of play, when a thrown ball goes through or by a fielder, remains in play, and then unintentionally kicked or deflected out of play, just like in this play, the award is two bases from the time of throw for all the runners. So the correct call is C, catcher in dead ball territory, runners awarded two bases from the time of throw. Remember, it's free to look up any rule on BaseballRulesAcademy.com, your number one source for rules of the game.